Don't hate on me because your girl like my Titan sauce. Stop hating. Get Titans. What is going on, people? It's the kid Chris Kazama PKZ. What is happening? You guys like my new shirt? Yeah. That Attack on Titan. Yeah. I know. I, I know you mess with it. I know you mess because I mess with it. So I know you mess with it. But anyway, today we're gonna be talking about the PlayStation 4 and the recent news that just came out. All I can say is domination. All I can say is domination. You already know the news. I know the news. But before we get into that, let's talk about a few other topics beforehand. House Marquee developers of Rezo Gun on the PlayStation 4 are bringing the PlayStation 3 zombie killing game, Dead Nation, to the PlayStation 4. It's called Dead Nation Apocalypse Edition. It's coming with a whole bunch of different stuff. Plus, they awesome broadcast mode that will allow viewers that are viewing your game live to affect your game positively or negatively. You want to know more about that? Check it out in the description below. Got the article right there. All you gotta do is go down there and click. Just go down there and click. Secondly, finally got around to playing The Walking Dead Season 2. Played the first episode. All I wanna say is one thing. Uh, please kill Rebecca. I hate that bitch. Uh, I usually don't use that word. I just use that very loosely. But after playing the first episode, please kill Rebecca. Just please kill her. Kill her. Kill her. But anyways, The Walking Dead Season 2, Episode 2, A House Divided, is coming this week to PlayStation Network on March the 4th. I said this week. Next week on March the 4th. So make sure to pick that up. And also, Dead Nation Apocalypse Edition is coming on March the 4th. Now, on to bigger news. Just came out. News. I know you heard about it. PlayStation 4 has even sales globally with the Wii U. If not even, they have sold more than the Wii U. They're both at 5.8 million right now. And of course, you know, we all know that the PlayStation 4 just released in Japan. And so far, with them being out only a week, they have managed to sell over 300,000 PlayStation 4s. I think that's pretty good. It boosted up the sales globally. You know, we're almost at 6 mil in, what, three, three and a half months. So, that's pretty good. Now, this is a good thing and a bad thing. It's a good thing because the PlayStation 4 is dominating. I'm sorry, the fanboy piece of me inside wants to laugh, so let me just go ahead and get that out right now. <laughs> Y'all got out, so the bad thing is that the Nintendo Wii U uh, being out for a year and a couple months has been outsold by a system that's only been out for three months. That's bad, because I like Nintendo, and I think the Wii U is a decent console. You know, of course, the Wii U has uh, a lot of big games coming up. They have the Super Smash Bros. They have the Mario Kart 8, you know, they got the Sonic Boom that's coming out. You know, they got a lot of decent games that, of course, are going to move units because a lot of people like these titles. But, uh, you know, hopefully with, you know, with the PlayStation 4 just dominating like it is, just taking over like it has. I mean, like, it's, you can't, you can barely find PlayStation 4s on the shelf in stores. This is crazy right now. Like, you can't, I work at Walmart. We have not seen PlayStation 4s on the shelves for about two or three weeks. The struggle is real. And I try to tell everybody, when they came out, listen, you better get it right now. Because if you don't get it right now, you're going to regret it. So if you catch a PlayStation 4 on the shelf and you're able to get one, you are one lucky bastard. You are one lucky bastard. But the PlayStation 4, the way it's dominating, uh, hopefully this is a wake-up call for Nintendo. You know, they need, they need to wake up. They need to just reawaken that beast that's within Nintendo. Because Nintendo is a beast. You know what I'm saying? No matter what you guys say about the Wii, no matter what anybody says about the Wii U, Nintendo is a beast and they could make a comeback. If anybody can make a comeback in the industry, it is definitely Nintendo. So don't count them out yet. You know, they've, they've been rocky. You know, they got some decent games coming out this year. They just need to keep rolling with the with the punches and they need to, to get it together. That's all it is. I personally, I, I feel like they just need to get with the times, you know what I'm saying? Uh, with the Wii U, you know, it, it lacks certain features that 7th generation consoles have. You know, now that we're in the eighth generation, and you know we got all these you know features that you know gamers love, like you know broadcasting live on Twitch or UStream. You know what I'm saying? And we you is struggling with voice chat. It's it's, it's you just got to get with the times, Nintendo. It, it's that time. You know this is not this is not in 64 days. This is not Super Nintendo days. Get with the times. 
get with the times. Now before I get out of here, I just want to talk about a platforming beast and that is Rayman Legends. The good people at Ubisoft sent me a review copy and today I'm going to tell you guys a little bit about it. Now Rayman Legends, I haven't played a Rayman game in I don't know how long. But with me playing Rayman Legends for as little time as I did, already I can tell. This game is a beast. If you need something to hold you over in this drought, which, you know, it's not really a drought if you've been playing, uh, you know, a lot of other games, you know, I've been playing Strider, it's a lot of other games. But if you need a big title to hold you over in this drought until Infamous Second Son comes out, until Metal Gear Solid uh, Ground Zero comes out, Rayman Legends is your game if you like platformers. They're only asking 40 bones for it, uh, it has fun addicting levels. Uh, you know, it has a little bit of PS4 features, you know, using the touchpad and things like that. But overall, I think, honestly, that it's well worth $40. I mean, there's four player online co op. You can get on here with your friends, play these levels. It's really fun. It's a beast platformer. I haven't played Rayman Legends in a long time. And after playing this, I have a new love and respect for Rayman Legends. Or Rayman in general. Because he has no legs. And I've always felt sorry for Rayman. Why does he not have legs? Anyways, guys, let me know in the comment section what you think about currently. How do you feel about the PlayStation 4 taking over this generation by force, by storm? I mean, Xbox One, way down there, just got up to par with the Wii U. PlayStation 4 is dominating. Let me know in the comment section what you think about that. And as always, I'm Chris Kazama, PKZ. Cheers. Um, um.